talk about our UH-1F Huey that we have here. This helicopter that you see was used in a multiple of different roles. Um, during the summer here in Arizona, the monsoon would sometimes wash out the roads. If the roads were washed out, they could use these helicopters to fly the crews out and maintain readiness at all the bases. The helicopter was also used to transport parts if needed very quickly, was also used for search and rescue operations, as well as air cover when the, the re-entry vehicle was being transported out to each one of the sites. The UH-1F used a different engine from uh, the traditional 1B models uh, that you might be familiar with. The Air Force chose to do this to maintain commonality between the engines used in some of their other aircraft. The paint scheme on our helicopter is not the same as what was on these helicopters when they were deployed in the Titan II program. Our helicopter is painted in the prototype scheme. The helicopters used in the program were a light gray and white. Another piece of equipment you will notice when you arrive at the Missile Museum here is our Brockway truck and transport trailer that was used to bring out the reentry vehicle with the W-53 9 megaton warhead already loaded inside of it. The reentry vehicle on the trailer transported out to each one of the sites would have been covered with a white protective coating along with the adapter section that was contained on the warhead. The warheads would be removed from the missile. If any maintenance had to be done to them, they would be put back on the trailer taken back to the Wing Commander's Post, Davis Mountain Air Force Base to do upgrades or service the warhead. So we're going to be looking at some other new equipment that we have here at the Missile Museum, so stay tuned. We'll be showing you some more stuff shortly.